for much of my life, I have lived as though I have been basically asleep. As a child, I used to look up to teachers and admire their knowledge. Just before finishing school, I investigated different career options and studied those with university qualifications and admired what they have achieved. I used to listen in my first nursing degree to my lecturers and take every word they say as acceptable. When I studied medicine, there were professors and specialists all over and I listened to their knowledge and drank it in, putting my trust in the idea that they know better than what I know, that they have the answers. But you know, I missed the point and just like somebody who is fast asleep, I missed the warnings and the Bible is full of them. There are so many places in the Bible where God points us in a different direction. The Bible tells us it is better to trust the Lord than to put your trust in man. It is better to trust the Lord than to put your trust in princes. In other words, there is a warning in there that not even the great men of this world should gain our trust if it contradicts with what God has said. There's another verse in the Bible that says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And the Bible also tells us where the light is. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God is the standard of truth that we should be following. And I didn't really put those together. I didn't realize that it was my duty to have a look, to study out what God says, and to compare what people say to God's word in order to evaluate whether they have the truth or not. The Bible also gives us many warnings about not being asleep. It tells us to be awake. It says to us, be sober, be vigilant. For the devil, your adversary, walketh about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. In this tug of war, in this war for our choices, God gives us the warning. He says to us, you need to be awake. You cannot afford to be asleep. Be watchful and waiting. In other words, do whatever you can to have a clear mind. Let my everyday choices in health have a direct impact on my mental clarity. They have a direct impact on my ma mind's ability to perceive the truths in God's word. And if I don't have a clear mind, through whatever reasons, through all the factors that could do damage to my body and damage to my brain, if I don't have a clear mind, with which I can study God's word, then I'm ultimately going to place my trust in human knowledge and human knowledge falls short of the truth so often. Human beings, according to the Bible, have intents and hearts and minds that are deceitful above all things. We cannot afford to trust human beings. And I want to plead with you, don't trust what I say. Do not trust anything that we publish on our videos or in our publications. Compare what we say with God's word. Take God's word for yourself, study it for yourself, and measure anything and everything that you receive from any person by that standard. I want to encourage you onto a new beginning, a new start, a new health journey, where you have a quest for seeking out what God's instructions are for our health. In my own investigations of God's word and his instructions, I have discovered the most incredible health information in recent years. And I'm excited to share that with you. But I can understand as well that maybe you're asking yourself, does she even have the faintest idea how difficult it can be to do things one way your whole life long and then to make a switch? I hope you're going to join me next week where I'm going to be sharing with you a small portion of my personal testimony. And maybe through that you will be able to see that I have some pretty first-hand experience in being stuck in a certain way of doing things, being stuck in certain habits, to the point of addiction even, and how God can help a person change, not only me, but you too. I hope that as we share not only our health information, but also more personal testimonies of different people and how their lives have been changed, that you can take courage in making your own new start. Welcome again to Verity Center, uh, where we want to rethink our health.